Welcome to practice. So we're gonna begin seated today. If you like to sit up onto a blanket, grab a blanket. It's always nice to have a couple of yoga blocks. You might have those at the top of your mat. And let's begin in Sukhasana with our right shin crossed in front of the left shin today. So feel free to elevate your hips enough that you can get your knees at least the same height as your hips, if not lower than your hips. And then just rest your hands on your lap and whatever way feels best could be down, which is a little more grounding, could be up, which tends to be a little bit more opening and receiving. And then let your eyes soften or close to begin. Take a moment just to arrive in your body into this stiller, quieter space. The mind might still be pretty chatty from whatever you're coming from in your day. And that's totally all right, but just notice if it is. And then invite a deep breath in through your nose. Fill up your belly with air and open your mouth, clear it out. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, fill up your belly. Open your mouth, exhale, like you're just letting all that chatter go. And start to find a steady breath in and out of your nose. And with each breath in, the breath moves downward. Maybe feel your belly expand and fill up with fresh air. And with each exhale, the belly gently draws back in towards center, like you're releasing any stale air. Taking in what you need with each inhalation. Letting go with each exhalation, creating space for what it is you need. With your next inhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. As you exhale, let your eyes softly flutter open and bring your hands to the fronts of your knees. Pull your heart forwards as you breathe in. So extending the spine, take a little back bend. And then as you exhale, lean to your right. Keep your arms straight as you can. Lean your spine back, round your spine. And then lean to the left and pull your chest forwards. Let's do that again. So lean to the right. Round back, flex your spine, lean to the left, and come forward. So let's do one more on this side, to the right, back, almost like a cat spine, to the left, forwards, pause, come through center, switch the crossing of your shins now, left shin in front of the right, and then inhale, pull your heart forwards. You can even look up a bit, little back bend. Lean to the left, lean back, to the right, Lean forwards to the left. Round back, flexion of the spine to the right. Forwards, do one more. So these are Sufi circles, waking up the spine and also the pelvis and the hips. And then the next time you come forwards, come through center. And as you inhale, reach your arms out and up. Cross your right arm in front of your left. Grab your elbows if you can. It might be more like forearms, that's fine. So this is Baddha Hasta arms. Send your elbows back, but move your front ribs down and in. Take another inhale, go a little higher with your elbows. And then exhale, bring your left hand to the ground by your side. Reach your right arm over to the left, take a side bend. Breathe into the right side. Stay to exhale. And then inhale, come to center, reach both arms up. Now switch the crossing so that your left arm is front of the right. Grab your elbows. Maybe it's the forearms. Go up with your elbows and then back with the elbows. Notice if your front ribs are puffing up, move them down and in. Take another inhale. Exhale, bring your right hand to the ground by your side. Reach your left arm over side, bend to the right. Breathe into the left lungs. Exhale. Come through center as you inhale, reach both arms to the sky. And then exhale, bring your hands through your heart and down by your sides. Come off whatever you're sitting on, just move it to the side. And come into a tabletop position on all fours. Stack shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees. Gently spread out your fingers. As you inhale, draw your heart forwards and up. Arch your spine, cow pose. Exhale, reverse, round your spine, cat pose. Inhale, arch, open the front body. Exhale, reverse, open the back body. Do one or two more on your own, moving with your breath. And then 
and start to come into a neutral position in your tabletop. Walk your hands forward about two to three inches ahead of the shoulders. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart with your wrist creases parallel to the top edge of your mat. Tuck your toes under, push your hips up and back, down dog. Make sure your feet are about hip bone distance apart and parallel, inner heels hidden behind you. Relax your head and neck and feel free to bend your knees as much as it helps so you can send the hips higher. Really get longer from your fingers to your shoulders to your hips. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Stay for the exhale, send your hips a little higher. And then inhale, raise your right leg up. Bend your knee and open up your hip. Try not to dump all the way into your left side but press into your right hand equally. And then straighten the legs, square the hips, breathe in. Step your right foot forwards, breathe out. Get your toes in line with fingers. Drop your back knee to the mat. Bring your hands to your hips, come into a low lunge. With your hands at your hips, take your pelvis and make it a little more upright by tucking the tailbone under and then lifting your pubic bone up towards the navel. And then bring your arms forward about shoulder height. Cross your right arm over your left. Either give yourself a hug or come into your eagle arms. Elbows about shoulder height. Feel your forearms, your elbows move forward. Your front ribs move back so you're not in a back bend. Keep tucking the tailbone under. Try to keep that as you bend your front leg a little more. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower your hands to the mat. Now you're gonna to crawl to the left. Start to face the long edge of your mat. Your left shin will kind of move behind you. Hands under your shoulders. Straighten the right leg out to the right. Okay, inhale, arch your spine, little back bend. Exhale, round your spine. Neutral spine, breathe in. Hands to your hips, lead with the chest, come upright. You're in a gate pose position. Bring your arms out wide to a T. Keep your front ribs knitting towards each other. Take an inhale. Now very slowly, you're gonna to start to tip to the left. Place your left hand on the mat under your left shoulder. Reach your right arm to the sky. Your right foot is still down. Try pressing more into the pinky side of your back foot. Turn the right palm forwards and sweep your top arm up and over your ear. It's tempting to bend this top elbow, but wake it up. Try to reach your arm forwards. Breathe into the right side body. Take another inhale. Now bring your right hand to the ground. We're gonna face the back of the mat, listen closely. Come to the ball of your right foot, and then you're gonna have to move your left knee to the left. So you're in this like three-legged tabletop, shoulders over the wrist. Inhale, float your right foot off the ground. Stay to exhale, lift your pubic bone up towards the navel, straighten your arms, and then inhale, reach your left arm forwards. Stay as you exhale. Push down with your bottom hand. Can you straighten the right leg a little more? Stretch it back. Wake up the hamstrings. Reach the left arm forwards. Last breath here. Exhale, left hand comes back down. Keep the right leg straight. Place the ball of the foot down. And then step your left leg back plank. Knees can be up or down. Take a full breath in. Lower to the belly. Exhale. Point your toes. Make your hands as light as possible. Inhale, lift your head, your chest, maybe float your hands off the mat. Drop the gaze a little bit so the back of the neck is long. Squeeze your elbows back and in to roll the shoulders away from the floor. One more inhale. Hands by the low ribs, push back child's pose, exhale. Big toes touch, keep your hands forward. Melt the hips back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Down dog with your next inhale. Raise your left leg up. Bend your knee and open up the hip. Try to lift your left inner knee to the sky. Can you press into your left hand equally so you're not dumping all the weight into the right side? And then straighten the legs, square the hips, take an inhale. Exhale, step your left foot forwards. Drop your back knee to the mat. Bring your hands to the hips. So low lunge, we're facing the back of the mat. Take your pelvis and make it more upright by aiming your tailbone down. Lift your pubic bone up towards the navel. Arms forward, shoulder height. 
left arm over the right. Either give yourself a hug or eagle arms. Your body will tell you what's right for you. Elbows moving forwards, ribs hugging in, bend the front leg a little more. Take another inhale, elbows up, chest up. Exhale, hands down, frame your front foot. So now we're gonna crawl to the right. Face the long edge of the mat, bring your hands under your shoulders. Your right shin moves behind you. Straighten your left leg out to the side. Take a cow cat, inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, round your spine. Come back to neutral as you inhale. Hands to hips, exhale. Lift the torso, gate pose. Arms out to the side. Imagine your front ribs moving towards each other. It's like that corseting action. And now slowly tip to the right. Your right hand is gonna come to the ground. Left arm up. Turn your left palm forwards. Sweep your top arm up and over your ear. The more you press into the pinky side of your left foot and reach your left arm forwards, the more you're gonna get a big stretch. I almost feel it in my left outer hip and hip flexors a bit. Another breath here. Now here's that kind of weird transition. Bring your left hand to the ground, shoulders over the wrist, pop up your back heel, square your hips to the mat. You might have to adjust that right knee and shin. Float your left foot off the ground. Straighten your arms. Make sure you're not in a big back bend, but lift your frontal hip bones up towards the front ribs. And then inhale, reach the right arm forward. Push down with your bottom hand, straighten your left arm. Can you straighten your left leg? The hamstrings will probably wanna bend here, but push back through the left heel. Reach the right arm forwards. Keep your gaze steady. One more breath in. Right hand down, place the ball of the left foot down. Step to a plank pose. Push the floor away from you a little more. Take a breath in, heart forwards. Lower to the belly, exhale. Point your toes. Make your hands as light as possible. Inhale, lift head, chest, maybe just float your hands off the mat. Squeeze your elbows in. Press down through your feet. Every toenail presses down, but lift the kneecaps. That doesn't mean lift the feet, lift the kneecaps. Take another breath in. Hands down, exhale, child's pose. Push back, big toes touch. Relax the head. Take a deep breath in and an open mouth exhale. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes under, lift the hips. We're gonna do that again, but on the breath this time. Stay for an inhale, stay to exhale, let that go. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot forwards. Drop your back knee. Low lunge, arms forward, shoulder height. Cross the right arm over the left. Either give yourself a hug or eagle arms. Feel your arms move forward, your ribs move back. Stay for an inhale. Stay to exhale, maybe bend your front knee a little more. Last breath in here. Hands frame your front foot, exhale. Turn to the left, face the long edge of your mat, shoulders over the wrist, straighten the right leg out to the right. Cow cat, inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, round your spine. Neutral as you breathe in. Hands to hips, exhale, lift the torso, inhale. Arms out to the side, take a breath in. Left hand down, exhale, right arm up. Try to keep your right foot down. You might have to walk it in a bit. Turn the right palm forward, sweep your right arm up and over your ear. Big stretch, full breath in. Exhale, right hand down, we're facing the back of the mat. Square your hips, shoulders over the wrist, and then float your right foot off the ground and reach your left arm forwards. Engage your core, lift the front ribs away from the mat. Take an inhale, now this time as you exhale, tap your left elbow towards the right knee. Try to keep the right arm straight. Inhale, extend, left arm forwards, right arm back. Exhale, curl and tap. Once more, inhale. Exhale, inhale, extend, left hand down, right foot down, plank pose, step the left foot back. Breathe in, to the belly, breathe out. Point your toes, 
Hands by the low ribs. Make your hands as light as possible. Lift the head, the chest, the shoulders. Stay to exhale. Drop the gaze a little bit. Make sure your elbows are right over the wrist. Either stay or inhale. Come to an up dog. Lift your thighs and up dog. And exhale. We'll meet in down dog. Hips up and back. Inhale. Raise your left leg up. Exhale. Step your left foot forwards. Drop your back knee. Low lunge, arms forward, shoulder height. Left arm over the right, either give yourself a hug or eagle arms. Arms move forward, move your front ribs back. Bend your front knee a little more as you breathe in. Exhale, hands down, frame your front foot. Turn to the right, face the long edge of your mat. Shoulders over the wrist, straighten your left leg out to the side. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, round your spine. Neutral as you inhale, hands to hips, exhale, lead with the chest, inhale, come upright. Arms out wide to a T, tip to the right, slowly right hand down, left arm up, keep your back foot down. Turn the left palm forwards, swim it up and over your ear, breathe in. Exhale, place the left hand down, now we're going to face the top of the mat. Come to the ball of your back foot, square your hips to the mat. Float your left foot off the ground. Reach the right arm forwards, lift the front ribs in, breathe in. Exhale, tap right elbow towards the left knee. Two more, inhale, extend. Exhale, curl and tap. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. Inhale, right hand down, exhale. Left foot down, plank pose. Breathe in, push the floor away from you to the belly, exhale. Point the toes, make your hands as light as possible. Inhale, lift head, chest, shoulders. Stay to exhale, squeeze the elbows back, roll the shoulders away from the floor. Now option to stay here or as you place your hands down, make sure elbows are over your wrist. Inhale, upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog is where we meet, hips up and back. Stay for a full breath in, a gentle breath out. With your next inhale, lift your heels, and exhale, take a little stroll to the top of the mat. Heart forwards as you breathe in. Fold as you exhale, take a little bend in your knees, let your head drop. Keep a bend in your knees and start to roll up for three, for two, and one, shrug your shoulders up, back and down at the top. Turn your palms forward, find your mountain pose. You have arrived at the top of your mat, feel your feet root down, the crown of your head reach up. And then inhale, reach your arms to the sky, big breath in. Exhale, fold forwards, maybe a little bend in the knees. Chest forwards, inhale. Plant your hands, step to a plank pose. Knees can always be up or down. Heart forwards, inhale. Your choice, lower halfway or to the belly, exhale. Take your back bend of choice, up dog or cobra. Down dog, exhale. Relax the head and neck. Always come back to your foundations. And that's whatever's on the ground. So here it's your hands and your feet, of course. Hands are shoulder width apart. Wrist creases parallel to the top of the mat. Feet are hip bone apart and parallel with your inner heels hidden behind you. Let your head hang freely. Keep your breath smooth and steady. Take one more inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, feet to your hands, step or take a hop forwards. Lengthen your spine at the top. Exhale, fold in. Come all the way to stand, inhale, rise, reach your arms up. And exhale, hands through the heart and down by your side, Tadasana. All right, so you're going to grab a block and place it in between your inner thighs, this narrow way, just above the knees, and bring your feet as close together as you can. Bring your arms forward, shoulder height, palms facing each other. As your arms move forwards, feel your front ribs move back and in. 
Press your thighs back, but try to lengthen your tailbone down. And then inhale, slowly reach the arms up. Up and back, as far back as you can, but don't let your front ribs flare. Move them down and in. Reach a little higher, inhale. Bend your knees, exhale. Now squeeze the block with your inner thighs. Five breaths here. Try pressing more into your inner heels in the big toe mound, so the inner feet. Squeeze the block and sit a little lower. As your hips go back, arms move up. Move your front ribs in and down. Breathe more into your back body. Sit a little lower for five, four, three, two, and now fold forwards, exhale. Move the block to the side. Hook onto your big toes with your two-piece fingers. Bend your knees as much as it helps. Heart forwards, inhale. Fold and exhale. Relax your head and let your elbows splay out to the side. Allow your head to release towards the earth. Spread your shoulders up and away from your ears. And if you feel this in the low back, bend your knees as much as it helps. Right, and now release your toes. Keep a little bend in your knees and do a roll up a vertebrae by vertebrae until your chin is the last thing to lift. And then reach your arms up at the top. Exhale, hands together in front of your heart. Okay, I'm gonna ha recommend you having a block, one near the top of your mat, one near the back. You may or may not need it, but just nice to have it handy. And then find your mountain pose at the top of your mat. As you inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Let's take a vinyasa. Long spine, inhale, heart forward, shoulders back. Plant your hands, either step to plank or hop to bent elbows, chaturanga, lower halfway or to the belly. Up dog or cobra, breathe in. Down dog, exhale. Take a full breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, rock forwards to a plank pose. Exhale, tap your right knee to your right upper arm. Three-legged down dog, breathe in. Step your right foot in between your hands, exhale. Spin your back heel down and in. Open your arms out wide to a T, warrior two, facing the long edge of your mat. Take a nice long stance. I encourage you to take up lots of space, even if it feels a little more unstable. It will create the opportunity to open your body a little more. Turn your palms up to face the ceiling. Reach your arms up, cross your right arm in front of your left. Grab your elbows, Badahasta arms. Bend your front leg a little more. Elbows move up, front ribs down and in. Keep your chest facing the long edge of your mat. You might turn the gaze forwards. Keep the bend in your front leg. And now you're gonna grab your right wrist with your left hand and lean towards the back of the mat. Side bend. Bend the front knee a little more. Pull your right arm back. One more breath. Exhale, lower your hands to frame your front foot. Turn to the left, face the long edge of your mat, straddle folds. Hands under your shoulders. Hands can be on blocks, you can be on fingertips. Get your hips forward over your heels, reach your heart forwards, and then inhale, cow pose, arch your spine. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, neutral. Crawl to the back of the mat, frame your left foot, runner's lunge. Move your front foot a little to the left so you're not on a tightrope. Come to a high lunge, hands at your hips, bend your back knee a lot. Lengthen your tailbone down, lift your pubic bone up towards the navel. Bring your arms forward shoulder height, cross your left arm over the right. Now we've done this before, either give yourself a hug or eagle arms. As your arms move forward, feel your front ribs move back. Ground through the front heel, bend the front leg. Now keep the bend in your front leg. How slowly can you step your right foot forwards into a chair pose? Take your time, keep the eagle arms, bend your knees, elbows up, shoulder height. Eagle legs, start to wrap your right leg over your left and the block is there if you wanna rest your right foot on a block. You could do the half bind or work on the full bind of your legs. Squeeze your inner thighs together like you squeeze that block. Spin your left hip forwards. 
hips forward, elbows up, sit a little lower, one more breath in. Exhale, release, come all the way to stand. Bring your feet a little wider than hip bone apart. Turn your toes out, bend your knees and come into a squat. Feel free to sit onto a block here, but do try to keep your heels down in your squat. And as you drop your sitting bones, lift the chest, lengthen your spine. If you can, snuggle your arms inside your legs. Start to squeeze your outer arms with your inner thighs. One more deep breath in. And then plant your hands, exhale, fold forwards. Turn your toes forward. Inhale, chest forwards. Plant your hands, step your left leg back. Sorry, right leg back, right leg back. Left leg forwards. Move your front foot to the left a little bit so your hands are inside your foot. You could bring your hands to that block if it feels helpful. You could also be on fingertips. We're gonna do some weird cat cows here. Drop your hips, lift your heart, breathe in. Now your legs will pretty much stay the same. Round your spine, feel your front ribs, your belly lift away from the floor. Dip your hips, inhale, arch your spine, and then exhale, round, push the ground away from you. One more time, dip your hips, lift your chest, breathe in. Exhale, round your spine. Move the block, bring your hands directly underneath your shoulders, so hands are shoulder width apart. You're already basically in a plank pose. How quietly, try not to glide your left foot back by touching the mat, but just quietly step back plank and then vinyasa or straight to down dog. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. All right, inhale plank pose. Exhale, tap your left knee to your left upper arm. Get as high as you can. Three-legged down dog, breathe in. Step your left foot in between your hands, exhale. Spin the back heel down. Open up wide, warrior two. And I encourage you to take a longer stance than you're used to, working this front thigh at a 90 degree angle. Again, it might feel unstable, but remember we don't grow always in stability. We grow in the instability and then we find our way back to stability. Turn your palms up, reach up, cross left arm in front of the right, Baddha Hasta arms. Your chest is facing the long edge of the mat. Turn your gaze over your front foot, soften the front ribs in. And now start to grab your left wrist with the right hand, lean towards the back of the mat, bend your left leg a little more, Big side bend, one more inhale. Exhale, hands down. Turn to the right, face the long edge of your mat. Hips forward, heart forwards. Inhale, arch your spine like a cow pose. Exhale, round your spine, cat pose. Inhale, arch. Exhale, reverse. Let's do one more, why not inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Now come back to neutral. Crawl to the right. Frame your right foot runner's lunge. Keep your gaze steady. Come up to a high lunge, hands at hips. Bend your back knee quite a bit. Spin your left hip forwards. Drop your tailbone. Lift the pubic bone up towards the navel. So your pelvis is upright. Your chest is over your hips. And then bring your arms forward, shoulder height. Right arm over the left. Either give yourself a hug or eagle arms. Feel your ribs move back as your arms move forward. Keep your gaze steady. Imagine you are moving in slow motion. How slowly can you step your left foot forwards, chair pose. Place the left foot down. Bend your knees, elbows up, chest up. And now eagle arms cross your left thigh over the right. You could rest your left toes on a block. You could take a half bind or a full bind. Squeeze your left hip back so your hips are facing forward. Squeeze your inner thighs together as you sit a little lower. Elbows up, chest up, one more breath, and then release. Bring your feet a little wider than hip bone apart. 
Turn your toes out and squat. Bend your knees, keep your heels down. You can of course sit onto a block or two here. Hands to heart center. Try to get your arms inside your legs and then squeeze your outer arms with your inner thighs. One more breath in. Place your hands down and fold forwards. Turn your toes forward. Inhale, chest forwards. Plant your hands, step your left leg back. Adjust your front foot to the right. So you can bring your hands inside your foot and they can be on that block. You could be on fingertips. So we're gonna take those kind of weird cat cows here. Drop your hips as much as you can and lift your chest. I feel this deeply in my right inner thigh. And then your legs pretty much stay the same, but round your spine, exhale. Again, inhale, hip, dip your hips, not hip your dips. <laughs> and then exhale round. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to neutral, place your hands directly under your shoulders. No wider, no more narrow. Plug into the ground with your left big toe mound. Straighten your arms. How quietly, try not to drag your right foot. Can you step to plank? And then vinyasa or straight to down dog. Take a full breath in, full breath out. And then drop to your knees, come to a child's pose. Might feel nice to rest your arms back by your sides. Rest your forehead down, maybe on a block or stacked hands. And then just allow your eyes to soften or close. And it might feel nice to just kind of Wiggle your hips side to side a little bit. We're doing a lot of hips today. A lot of opening of the pelvis, which tends to get stuck from sitting for long periods of time. Try to breathe three-dimensionally so you're not just breathing into your back body, but feel the sides of the torso fill up with your inhales. Feel the front body fill up as you breathe in. And feel that sense of letting go as you exhale. With the ear, next breath in. Crawl your arms forward in front of you. Come back to downward facing dog. And in your down dog, bring your feet about as wide as your mat. Look forwards at your hands. You're either going to take a step or a frog hop, feet outside your hands. So bend your knees, look forwards, inhale, and then exhale, step or hop, feet, side, feet outside your hands. Come into your squat one more time. Feel free to sit up onto a block or two. Hands to heart center. Drop your sitting bones. Snuggle your arms inside your legs as much as you can. Squeeze your outer arms just like you squeezed that block earlier, just like you squeezed your legs and eagle legs as well. So you're engaging your inner thighs. And then bring your arms forward in front of you. And as you inhale, try to arch your spine, a little cow pose. And then as you exhale, try to round your spine, a little cat pose. Try that once more. Inhale, extension of the spine, super important to be able to do. Exhale, round, flexion of the spine, equally as important to do. Come back to a neutral spine. Option to hold your squat for about three to five more breaths and then you'll step back or Bakasana Crow Pose. Plant your hands in front of you, shoulder width apart. Lift your heels, your hips. Get your knees high up on your upper arms. Your knees can also be outside your arms. That's not incorrect. Harder is a little more inside the arms. Look forwards past your fingers, lean forwards, elbows bend over the wrist, and then pull your chest forwards, either float one foot at a time or two feet at a time, hips to heels for crow. You're pushing and pulling. Your upper body is basically in chaturanga, so maybe keep your chest forwards, hop your legs to bend elbows, and then inhale to an up dog, exhale to a down dog. Step back if you are holding your squat and then come to a seated position.
Okay. Okay, out of breath. <laughs> Let's find Baddha Konasana if you want to sit up onto the edge of your blanket or a block, do so. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees apart. Bring your hands to your ankles or shins. And then use your arms as leverage to get right on top of your sit bones. So you can think of your pelvis. I think of it as like a bowl. I usually call it the bowl of your pelvis. And it can rock backwards. It can also rock way forwards. And we kind of want to find that sweet spot right now in the middle where it's almost like if there is water in the bowl, it wouldn't be tipping backwards nor forwards. It would just stay level. So for you, maybe that means you need to pull your chest forwards a little more so that the water isn't spilling backwards. Or maybe for you, especially if you're a kind of more mobile body, maybe you're pulling forwards too much. You need to move your front ribs back so that the water doesn't spill forwards. So just find this kind of middle point. But then we're gonna imagine that we were letting the water tip over. Pull your chest forwards, let your pelvis rock forwards as you breathe in. Lean to the right as you exhale. And then round your spine back, feel your pelvis tip back. Lean to the left. Pull your chest forwards, your pelvis rocks forwards. Lean to the left, round back to the left, forwards. One more time like that. Imagine just drawing circles around the bowl of your pelvis. And the next time you come forwards, pause at center and then lean to the left, go back to the right, pull forwards to the left. Your arms might straighten as you go back to the right. Forwards, do one more time. So letting the pelvis move, such a wonderful thing when you've been sitting all day. And then come back upright as you breathe in. Option to stay or lean forwards and fold forwards any amount. Your forearms may or may not come to the ground. You can rest your forehead on a block if you'd like. And relax the shoulders. Take a couple of breaths here. Try to relax your legs. Just let them splay out. Feel your sitting bones plug into the earth below you. This sense of rooting through our hips, our pelvis, our legs, so that our upper body can just kind of soften and feel a little more free and mobile. And with your next breath in, you'll slowly... Begin to walk your hands back in. Use your hands to draw your legs together. Bend your knees, bring your feet to the ground. Come off whatever you're sitting on. And then bring your heels to the ground in front of you. Draw your toes back towards your face. Lean back enough that your arms are straight. Feel your ribs move back. So you're flexing your spine, your spine is rounded. And now from here, either stay or reach your arms forward. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lower vertebrae by vertebrae. Try to feel every little inch of your spine come down one at a time. And then you'll reach your arms up. Walk your feet in. Place your feet on the ground. Bring your arms out wide to a T or in a cactus shape. Cross the right knee over the left. Move your hips off to the right, drop your knees to the left. So your legs are similar to those eagle legs we did earlier. Hips to the right, knees to the left. And maybe the gaze goes to the right. Relax the shoulders, relax the fingers. Bring your awareness back to this moment, back into the space, the room that you're in, on your yoga mat, in your body, in this moment, exactly as it is, into your breath, breathing into whatever is happening, not trying to change it, not trying to run or avoid it, but just being with it. 
feeling that sense of ease with it with your exhales. And then start to come back towards center. Uncross your legs, place your feet on the ground and switch left knee over the right. So you're crossing at the thighs, hips to the left, drop your knees to the right. Maybe turn the gaze to the left. And soften into the moment exactly as it is. That might mean you relax the jaw. That might mean you just relax the shoulders or the fingers. Maybe you can even relax your legs, even though they are a little active in this shape, but just try to relax them a bit. Full breath in here. Stay for the exhale. And then with your next inhale, you'll come back towards center. Uncross your legs, find the midline of your mat and draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze, thanking your body for all that it does for you each and every day. Maybe a little rock side to side. Maybe a little circles, drawing the knees in a bit, pushing them out a bit to the sides. If you're doing that, go in both directions. So any final small movements here that feel nice. Let the movements get slower though. And then as you're ready, extend your legs long on the mat. Rest your arms by your sides. If you would like to use any props, sometimes just placing a blanket over your pelvis, your hips can feel grounding. And rest your arms in whatever way feels best. Allow your eyes to soften and to close. Let go of any forced breath. Allow your body to simply rest exactly as it is. And I invite you to stay in this shape as long as you can, or at least five breaths longer after this class. If you're ready to come out, bring your hands together in a prayer position. Bring your thumbs just above the eyebrows to third eye center. Invite a gentle breath in, filling up your entire body with air and a slow exhalation. Thank you so much for showing up on your mat for practicing with me today. Om Shanti. Peace.